Hey, this is Scott W1AL. I want to show you my recent antenna and um, really quite impressed with this uh, antenna and its performance. Um, it is an antenna that goes way back in time to the early the early days of the amateur radio. It is called the NFED Random Wire. And um, uh, basically what I did is I went out and I got a hundred feet from wireman of 18 gauge copper clad steel wire and um, I cut it to a length of 72 feet um, and the coax was 50 ohm coax um, RG8X and uh, I cut the piece to uh, 24 feet and at that point I placed a choke uh, on, at that point, 24 foot point, uh, a, uh, basically an FT240 ferrite, and <clears throat> put it uh, on the end of that 24 feet line, and then uh, the other end of that choke into my shack. So let me show you the antenna here now. Okay, this is the end of the antenna. Um, this is a sort of like a temp permanent solution. Uh, I'm going to be living here only a couple of more years or so. So um, I took a um, basically a pool uh, cleaner pole. It was about 12 feet high. This is the end of the uh, the long wire, not where the um, not where the ballon is. And I basically took some paracord and a, uh, a heavy uh, umbrella base, paracorded it to the uh, fence in three places. Trying to make sure that it uh, had enough play in the wind and, you know, in breezes. Not gonna survive a hurricane, don't expect it to or anything like that. We already went through Ian here. And um, you see where I have the end insulator. And there is the, the wire, you can see Hopefully you can see, I'm in the sun here. You can see how the wire is kind of coiled. It, you can see that it was coiled onto the, uh, onto the reel that it came with. And I got it as straight as I could. And um, it was some doing, quite frankly, to get it, to get it straightened out. But it's a very strong wire and uh, I prefer um, not stranded wire. It's just me. And uh, I'm going to show you the ballon. Uh, I'm using a four to one ballon that I got from, forget his name. <laughs> I'll put it in the comments. It's a commercial ballon, four to one. And uh, the principle of the NFED lawn wire is basically to cut the length of the of the actual long wire or random wire cut the length to a non-resident ham frequency and uh, there's plenty of charts on the web for that mine was came out to 72 feet to cover every band from 10 to 80 I mean every band walk bands included and you see I have a um, a basically old Solotron uh, antenna. I'm just stuck that up there and use that as a mast. I I uh, basically clamped it to an old tree that was that was kind of cut down after Ian came through here. It was quite a mess. But anyway, um, and that is it's probably about seven feet up. So I have this in a sloper configuration. You see the coax. Um, is there. I still have to tape all that up and um, basically I have it coming out here fastened with zip ties and all the way down to the choke ballon. The choke ballon as you can see is a, a ferrite with several turns of coax uh, probably six turns there at least, and then the rest of the coax going into my shack. 
As, as, and I know I, I do have to uh, tape these up. I haven't done that. I just finished putting up the the uh, the taller uh, mast, if you will. And um, I tried this antenna out um, already. Uh, and before I raised it up, it was basically just level with the uh, where the feed point was across the yard, just temporarily while I fiddled with the SWR and made sure I could tune it. There we go. I wanted to make sure that it would be tunable with the rigs because I operate remotely with an uh, Yezu FTDX 101D. And um, it, it was able to tune every amateur band from 10 through 80 uh, with the internal tuner, which is uh, quite remarkable um, because that tuner, I think anything, I'm not sure what it's rated at two or three to one. I think it's three to one. Anything above that, I won't even attempt it. It's a very good tuner, um, but uh, there's limits, of course, to built-in radio antenna tuners, and we all understand that, and that's fine. But I did tune every uh, every band on this uh, N-fed lone wire. Remember, it's not an N-fed half wave. Uh, those are a different animal. This enables you to get all bands cut at a length that's not resonant. And this thing performs beautifully. It receives beautifully. I've gotten wonderful reports. Many times uh, on FT8, the reports that I get are uh, even better than the ones that I give them. So that's a pretty good testimony to the uh, the ability of this simple NFED random wire. Not so random, 72 feet of wire. Again, copper clad steel, 24 feet of coax to a choke, uh, to a ferrite choke so that you don't, what you're doing is you're preventing, that coax is actually part of the antenna by design. And you want to stop, you want to uh, 24 feet so that it, it, it becomes um, tunable uh, at uh, all of the amateur frequencies and the calculations and trial and error that folks have done, it's come out that way. And uh, it's real neat because you don't have to really play with it too much. I didn't have to adjust anything. I just did it according to specs and it worked. Of course, everybody's location is going to be a little different, but... Yeah, you get the picture. These things really work well. Don't write off NFED uh, random wires. They really work. And, or NFED long wires, the same same thing. There are charts on the web and on all over the place that give you an idea. I did 72 feet for the, the wire length and I did 24 feet of, for the coax with a four to one ballon and it matched up beautifully. All right, so I just wanted to leave this video and let you all know what I'm up to. This is Scott, W1AL. See you in the next one.